There's something I've been wondering a bit about lately where internet computer is concerned. You know, the blockchain where you can store things on-chain. On-chain storage at $5.35 per gigabyte per year. On-chain compute, the world computer. Found within the internet computer documentation is information about how you can go about setting up a static website. And as you might recall, a static website is a little bit archaic in the sense that although yes, there are use cases today for static websites they have their place but the thing is a static website is also a read only website and that well that's web one there's also web two and web two is something that many of us are more familiar with because it's what we've been using on the internet for quite a while now right you log on to facebook after making an account and then you can comment on other people's posts you can make your own posts you can go to youtube you can start a youtube channel you can upload videos to your YouTube channel. You can go on Instagram and upload photos, Pinterest. You can go on X and interact with people. That's web two, read and write. And of course there's web three, which is supposed to be all about decentralization. That's what cryptocurrency and blockchain and DLT or distributed ledger technology is all about. That's what is supposed to create web three. And to be clear, these terms, web one is read, web two is read, write, and web three, being read write own these are concepts i'm taking straight out of this book which is the ultimate web 3 pocket guide first edition by jesse mangion i'm not quite sure how to pronounce her last name and the significance of that the significance of who this author is if we head over to the definity website which is the foundation behind internet computer and we scroll down their page to see their list of team members you will see jesse is right there in other words Jesse is part of the Definity Foundation, which is the foundation behind Internet Computer. Okay, so now that I've established some context here, what I've had in mind and what my question is, is does Definity really feel like static websites are sufficient? I kind of suspect no, they don't. But what I would really like to know is will Definity use their resources to help do something like create a CMS or content management system on internet computer? Something like WordPress. WordPress being something that, de depending on your source of information, powers anywhere from something like 18 to 30% of all websites online today. While I think think that it probably would be possible for a competent and experienced developer to set up a static website and turn it into, say, like an e-commerce site, because there's a lot of components that aren't necessarily dependent on the website front end so much, per se. You know, like they can interweave dApps and there's databases that would be connected on the back end and those databases can be still hosted on chain and the dApps can be hosted on chain. So the fact that the website itself being static may not really be a deal breaker. I'm not 100% on that. I'm not a full stack developer, not a full stack web developer. I'm not a developer period for that matter. So there are components there that I'm not real familiar with. But for the masses, for people like me, even though I have an IT background, but for people like me for and other people that are less technical, small business owners, like the person that has a paint business where they paint people's fences and, and houses and sheds in their backyard for a living, and they have a website just so that they can be found online. They're not going to have a website hosted on an internet computer anytime soon because it's too complicated. And for a lot of people that are on the internet a lot, you know, like internet marketers, influencers, whatever you want to call them, a lot of times their sites are going to be dynamic, like WordPress or something similar that is dynamic, something that they can easily just simply create a new post, post it and be done. And it automatically adds to their RSS feed as one example. Podcasters being a good example of someone that might want that kind of functionality. So on the one hand, I can definitely see where Definity or anybody else would rationalize that, no, that's not really something that Definity should be focusing on. That is something that other developers can build on internet computer, which is true. You know, other developers could potentially build something to create a CMS 
on internet computer. But I really hope that Definity themselves will put something out because for one thing, they have the resources to do it. And for another, I mean, there's millions upon millions of websites out there for small businesses. And, you know, very few businesses are going to really care that, oh, well, you know, if I just move my website from whatever, you know, Web2 big tech centralized service provider at $100, 200 $300 a year, I can move it to internet computer and I can spend a dollar a year on hosting or whatever it might work out to be. It depends on the site, depends on how much traffic they get. But in many cases, there would probably be a substantial cost savings. But that cost savings is not going to be substantial enough for most people to care or to want to have anything to do with the transition process. And, you know, call me crazy, but if you put 5, 10, 20 million websites on internet computer, I tend to think that that would help with cycle burn a little bit, especially if people could easily set up or relatively easily set up e-commerce sites. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm nuts. I don't know. Just a thought.